Good morning, everyone. Today, I am going to show you how to automate loop action conditionally based on value in HTML table from website. So this is a video made for a reply in Reddit question. It's a post made by webcams. So he said he has a website with a table that looks like this. All right. What I am looking to do is if the value of the current cell is a certain value in this example, the cell would be either yes or no, do some action. So he managed to get the action working, but he had, is having trouble getting Power Automate to move to the next cell to read it. Right. It just continues to read the same cell I choose as the web UI element over and over again. So I think he didn't extract HTML table first before he do his actions. So what he was saying is he just pick, keep picking on the one value uh, in the table instead of going through each row, right? And then uh, look at the value and then perform an action. So this video, I am going to show you and webcams how to do this. Hello everyone, my name is Hao Zhong. I'm here to help you to use Office Work tools such as Excel and Power Automate. If you think my videos are helpful, please help me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you. So the first step is to launch new Chrome, right? So launch new instance and then the put in the website in the initial URL. Windows state is normal. The rest, I leave it as default. Then the next thing you want to do is extract data from web page. So web browser instance is browser. All right, then you go to your website. Then uh, the live uh, web helper would appear. All right, just be patient. Uh, it will appear in a few seconds. So what you do is go to the first uh, view of the column header of your table. So this is your HTM table. So go to here, right? Then what you do is you right click. Then you click on extract entire HTML table. Right? Then you click on finish. Then you enable process data upon extraction. Before I continue, you can see that uh, the data to be extracted is extract HTML tab table records in the form of a 11 column table. I leave everything as default and I click on save. So if I click on the data from web page, right? I can view the whole table from uh, the HTML uh, in, in this uh, table. Then you use for each current item in data from web page, right? Value to iterate is data from web page. Then you use set variable. So you assign a variable to uh, current item, right? Then open source which is your column name. So I'm picking the yes or no from this open source column, All right? Next, I put a if statement. So if first operand open source contains yes, All right? So I, uh, I enable ignore case. So put your actions over here, right? Your action begins here and your action ends here. 
So what I want is uh, if I see it's a yes, right? I want uh, Power Automate to extract the wiki software, right, of the corresponding row. So if you look at the table, right, if I want a yes, if I see a yes, I will display the wiki software as a message box. So you set variable first, right, current item, then you open a square bracket, then you put in the column name, then you close back the uh, bracket. Then I display message, right? Wiki software detected. Message to display is the wiki software. Right? The rest I leave it as default, I think. So this display message you can replace it with your other action tool. Then, uh, yeah, that's it. So I am going to just run it so that you guys can see what the Power Automate desktop is actually doing. So, so it has detected, uh, if open source, yes, then the wiki software is uh, Blue Spice, right? Then the next one is uh, book stack so you can see over here it's looping so i hope this video has helped you webcams and uh, other people who needs this video uh, if you like this video please give the channel a subscribe and then uh, like the video thank you so much everyone have a good day bye bye